goza la tierra, alma sin gozar. Dimos a la tierra, muestras más de ver, muchas más de Muchas madres lloran a la calle de madres amargadas, no sufríes más. In the morning, there's a rush to catch one of the early monasteries that for the Protestant passengers close to their workplaces in the city kitchen. As always, there's that one person who never fails to miss the boat. On the old style ferry boats, there's time to read the morning paper and have still the morning. Women stay behind. Their daily ritual includes early morning shopping at one of the island's open-air markets, where the tastiest vegetables and fruits that have been brought over from the mainland can be bought. While waiting to buy a kosher chicken, one can also have Mr. Catalan, the ritual butcher, perform a kaparot ceremony, in which one's guilt is symbolically transferred to the fowl. Children ride their bikes to the beach, and women who have finished their daily food shopping have time to participate in social events. One such event was the Fiesta de Fashadura party held in honor of the expected baby of Zali Levi, where her friends and relatives cut the Fashadura, the white swaddling cloth which traditionally becomes a new baby's first garment. This event usually takes place in the fifth or sixth month of pregnancy. The tradition is said to be brought from Spain, and the fiesta now combines Turkish, Jewish, and Spanish customs. The sugar-coated almonds thrown on the cloth is believed to ensure a sweet and prosperous life for the expected child. <laughs> At the island synagogues, the young people have a chance to meet friends and review their Hebrew in informal lessons that are given by more knowledgeable older children. During the summer we lived on Bukada, our daughter attended these classes on a regular basis and joined with the other children in learning popular Hebrew songs. At a memorial ceremony for Corinne Al-Buharia, her husband, son, and close relatives came together to say the traditional Kaddish.
Among Turkish Jews and Muslims alike, an arranged type of marriage is still the rule rather than the exception. Preparations for marriage after the mate has been selected is a long process. While one bride's wedding gown is bought in Paris, another one can only afford to rent her gown for the day. The decision about the dowry is a significant factor in marriage. To what extent does the girl's parents must contribute to the new household? Will the man's family live up to their promises? The negotiations will go on until the marriage and even after it. As the couple stand beneath the hoopah, the marriage canopy, the parents let out a deep sigh of relief. Finally, the long search over, the alliance between families is sealed. Where does the future lie for Turkish Jews? It is very much linked to the future of the country, its political and economic stability, to which the Jews, as all Turkish people, must contribute. In the course of 500 years of coexistence with the Turks, Jews made a home in Turkey. In turn, they helped to create a bridge extending to the Western world. The year 1992, when Europe becomes one community, Turkey will belong to that community or be closer to it than ever before. In striving toward the same goals, Turks and Jews are cooperating to lead the nation closer to the continent, whence the Jews had been uprooted 500 years before. Kız sen İstanbul'un 